Okay, so we're going to make a start then on our baseline for the track, and we're going to be using a similar kind of technique as used in uh, dubstep, where you take the the bass, you start with a sort of fundamental kind of sound, and you split it into different frequency bands and put effects on each of those bands. But we're not going to be resampling at this particular stage. We're just going to be um, pushing, as I say, that that fundamental into different sort of uh, effects units in that. So I'm going to, first of all, create a new audio track. And I'm going to rename this, um, we'll call it BS1, because we're going to be making a couple of these. And we'll uh, put it into a new group as well. Let's call that group bass. We'll as well call it um, bass group. So um, I've decided to use Alchemy for this, um, purely because I wanted to create a new kind of uh, fundamental uh, wave type um, with Silent, which I've been previously using. Um, you could only really pick from your saw triangle sine wave uh, combination. And I thought we'd maybe use Alchemy just to get a, a new kind of uh, sound coming out of it that we can uh, move forward and sort of uh, distort to get a, a different uh, perspective on uh, signs that you can create. So I'm going to drop the alchemy. So I've created a, an audio track that I meant to create a MIDI track. Um, so we just drop that into that base group and we'll get rid of this audio track. And we'll drop our alchemy in there. Let's make this it's the VST. Okay. So First off, um, I want to bring the release time down on it because we just want sort of short sustained notes as it's a, a bass line. That's fine. And you can go through, there's uh, loads of different uh, kind of uh, sounds you can pick. And I'm just going to pick some at random just to create a nice kind of starting tone. Um, so we'll go for that and we'll add in a couple more. We'll try a sine wave of some sort. Try pitching this down. And then we'll maybe try a square wave as well. And we'll add in one more sine wave or saw wave. We'll maybe add in the same one we had up here, but pitch down. Okay, so and that's a good sort of um, base to start off with. Bring that up a bit. So we've got the um, we've got a saw wave, a particular saw wave there. Um, we've got uh, a sine wave pitched down by twelve semitones, a square wave. Again, you don't have to follow what I'm doing here. Um, because if you were to change it slightly, you'll get a completely different sound coming out the other end, and it'll be interesting to see what actually um, you do come up with. So um, we'll use that as a sort of basis, and we'll go in and create a nice uh, MIDI part for this. So we'll create a um, one-bar loop, maybe, and we'll loop that round. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, and we'll go in, and we'll just draw in our MIDI pattern. So I'm going to go down. And we're going to create this into sort of two bases to begin with. So we're going to have um, a couple notes of bass playing at the first um, part of the bar. So um, first half of the, of the bar will have this bass. The second half will have the other bass. And this will be sort of short and staggered notes. Second part long, sort of drawn out, um, uh, automated, sort of pitch bendy kind of notes. So we go down an octave. So we get something nice and low. So try in here. shorter I'm 
just going to um, turn on the triplet grid here just to extend these notes out slightly onto the sort of triplet. Again, and bring this first one back. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go in. I'm just going to solo this and just uh, drop in an EQ just to add some sort of brightness to the top end of this. I'll maybe add a bit of um, sort of saturation to this again just to add another sort of dimension to it. Bring the volume back a wee bit. soft sign one. 